In the dense jungles of the Congo, a region known for its vast biodiversity, there are countless mysteries and unsettling discoveries hidden beneath the lush canopy. From strange monsters lurking behind the shadows to long lost relics, join me for today's video. I'm counting down the top 15 most creepy discoveries from the Congo. Starting with number 15, the Billy Ape. Kicking off our list of odd finds and creepy discoveries is the Billy Ape. It's also known as the Bondo Mystery Ape. It's a cryptid that's garnered significant attention in the world of cryptozoology. Reported to inhabit the Billy Forest in the Democratic Republic of Congo, this elusive and little understood primate has piqued the interest of researchers and enthusiasts. Described as a large terrestrial ape, the Billy Ape is said to be larger and more aggressive than the common chimpanzee. Reports suggest that it exhibits unique behaviors such as nesting on the ground, which is uncommon among other known great apes. Its characteristic vocalizations have been described as deep and resonant, differentiating it from other primates in the region. Now, while some skeptics question the existence of the Billy Ape, numerous eyewitness accounts from local villagers and researchers have provided intriguing insights into its potential existence. Witnesses often recount encounters with a large bipedal ape that displays a mix of both gorilla and chimpanzee-like characteristics. Alleged sightings and encounters have led to speculation about the Billy Ape's possible connection to known species of apes or the presence of a new and undiscovered primate in the region. Despite all the anecdotal evidence, concrete scientific documentation of the Billy Ape remains scarce. Expeditions and field studies aimed at gathering tangible evidence of its existence have faced challenges due to the dense and remote nature of the Billy Forest. Number 14. Jabba Fofi Deep within the dense, shadowy regions of the Congo rainforest, a terror lurks that haunts the nightmares of those who dare venture into its domain. The Jabba Fofi, a colossal arachnid of nightmarish proportions. Legends and whispers among the local tribes speak of a monstrous spider, its size rivaling that of a car, with legs that span wide enough to engulf a grown human in a single terrifying embrace. The Jabafofi is said to possess a voracious appetite, preying on anything that dares to cross its path. Its eight hairy, sinewy limbs move with unnerving agility, propelling it silently through the underbrush as it awaits its unsuspecting prey. Eyes that glimmer with malice are rumored to peer out from the darkness, sending shivers down the spines of the most seasoned of forest dwellers. It's said that it's spun from a material stronger than steel, capable of ensnaring not just the small animal, but even larger creatures, sealing their fate. Its lair, hidden within the labyrinthine depths of the forest, is said to be a tangled silken maze, where echoes of the Jabafofi's past victims reverberate serving as a haunting warning to any who dare to trespass. Number 13. Kongamato The Kongamato, a name derived from the local Kaondi language meaning breaker of boats, is a cryptid that haunts the skies above the remote regions of Zambia and the neighboring Democratic Republic of Congo. Described as a monstrous winged creature resembling a pterosaur or a giant bat, the Kongamato is the stuff of chilling legend and primal fear, known for its menacing presence and deadly assaults on unsuspecting travelers. According to local lore, the Kongamato is said to possess a wingspan reaching up to seven feet, with leathery bat-like wings that cast ominous shadows over the sun-scorched earth. Its beak, akin to that of a predatory reptile, is rumored to be lined with razor-sharp fangs, capable of rending flesh with a single strike. Terrified witnesses recount tales of the creature's blood-curdling screeches, echoing through the dense canopies, heralding its imminent approach. The Kongamato is believed to be a harbinger of doom, a creature that delights in wreaking havoc and instilling mortal dread in the hearts of all who dare cross its path. Tales of its attacks on local villagers and explorers have perpetuated an aura of fear, driving even the most intrepid adventurers to avoid the vast and foreboding landscapes where the Kongamato is rumored to dwell. Number 12. The Gualugu Triangle The Gualugu Triangle, located within the Nubale Nadoki National Park in the Republic of Congo, is a biodiverse region renowned for its thriving population of western lowland gorillas and chimpanzees. This remote area, nestled within the Congo Basin's rainforest, was first explored in the 1980s by a team of primatologists, led by doctors Cricket Sons and David Morgan, who uncovered the area's rich primate diversity and unique importance. 
Spanning approximately 500 square kilometers, the Gualugu Triangle is characterized by its dense vegetation and towering trees, providing a habitat for various species, including forest elephants, leopards, and a plethora of bird life. What makes this place intriguing is its significance as a research site for studying primate behavior, social dynamics, and the use of tools among the primates residing in the area. Researchers have observed complex behaviors and social structures within the gorilla and chimpanzee populations, providing invaluable insights into the intricacies of their lives. Moreover, the Triangle's biodiversity has drawn attention to the significance of preserving the larger Congo Basin, known as the world's second largest tropical rainforest after the Amazon. Its conservation contributes to a global effort to mitigate climate change and protect the habitat of numerous species. While not inherently strange or creepy, the Triangle's remote and unspoiled nature contributes to its aura of mystery. Number 11. The Darkest River in the World Running through the dense Congolese rainforest lies a sinister waterway known as the ominous Ruki River. Its waters, as black as midnight, shroud its secrets in an impenetrable veil of darkness, concealing a mystery that has long eluded the scientific community. When Travis Drake, an intrepid researcher from ETH Zurich, first set eyes on the Ruki, its inky hue left him spellbound. It was a river that seemed to have emerged from the very depths of darkness itself, a chasm of obsidian that defied all conventional expectations. The enigma of its darkness lies in its depths, which harbor an abundance of dissolved organic material, rendering it more of a concoction akin to jungle tea than a conventional watercourse. With a drainage basin four times the size of Switzerland, the Ruki remains a fathomless abyss of unexplored depths, its secrets locked away within the confines of its untouched domain. In 2019, Drake and his team embarked on a daring mission, setting up a measuring station near the city of Mamandaka to unveil the river's elusive secrets. What they discovered was staggering. The Ruki River, despite constituting a mere fraction of the expansive Congo Basin, contributes a fifth of the dissolved organic carbon that courses through the Congo itself. The organic acids within the water release carbon dioxide to the very heart of the forest, shrouding the region in an eerie fog of mystery. The slow, languid flow of the Ruki serves to contain the whispers of its depths, concealing the true extent of its power. Now, Drake cautions that the turbulent rivers would unleash even greater malevolence, propelling the carbon dioxide into the air in a symphony of an environmental unrest. As the secrets of the Ruki River continue to elude the grasp of modern science, one can only imagine just what undiscovered creatures lie beneath the dark depths of the Ruki River. Number 10. Okapi the discovery of the elusive Okapi, also known as the Forest Giraffe, is a tale that intertwines the realm of zoology, exploration, and African folklore. The story of this unique creature began to unfold during the late 19th century, when rumors of a strange horse-like animal dwelling deep within the jungles captivated the imagination of European explorers and naturalists. It wasn't until the early 20th century that the Okapi's existence was confirmed by Sir Harry Johnston, a British colonial administrator and explorer. In 1901, Johnston, along with the help of local guides, finally succeeded in obtaining physical evidence of this elusive creature, including its skin and skull. The revelation of this peculiar mammal, with its striking zebra-like stripes and long prehensile tongue, stunned the scientific community and the public, sparking widespread interest and curiosity. The Okapi's unique appearance and reclusive nature contributes to its elusiveness, leading to local legends and myths that surround its existence. Its discovery shed light on the richness of the Congo's diverse ecosystem, solidifying the region's reputation as a hub of biodiversity and biological marvels. Following its discovery, the Okapi captured the fascination of zoologists and researchers, who embarked on further expeditions to study its behavior, habitat, and evolutionary history. Efforts to protect this newly discovered species led to the establishment of the Okapi Wildlife Reserve in the Northeastern Democratic Republic of Congo, providing a sanctuary for these forest dwellers and highlighting the importance of conservation. The Okapi's journey from the realm of folklore and myth to scientific recognition underscored the ongoing significance of exploration and research in uncovering the mysteries of the natural world. Number 9. Deep River of Doom the Ruki River isn't the only wet and wild discovery in the vast reaches of the Congo. 
This story began with a perplexing case of pale, lifeless fish emerging as victims in the treacherous currents. A closer investigation unveiled a labyrinth of submerged waterfalls and violent rapids, creating an intricate maze that would spell doom for the unsuspecting creatures navigating its murky depths. The Lower Congo, renowned as the world's deepest river, boasts an otherworldly landscape where the slightest misstep could lead to a perilous fate. For over a decade, scientists delved into the enigma of the dying fish, discovering the silent menace of decompression syndrome, a sinister affliction brought on by the river's depths. Amid the chaos, Melanie Stiasny and her team embarked on a daring mission to unravel the river's mysteries, braving its relentless rapids and currents. Their astonishing findings revealed a subaquatic world shrouded in darkness, with the river bottom plummeting to depths exceeding 650 feet, containing a perilous abyss that claimed the lives of countless unsuspecting inhabitants. As the data unveiled the staggering depth and powerful undercurrents, a chilling realization took hold. Swift jets of water propelled by the relentless currents would launch hapless fish to their watery graves, their bodies contorted by the grip of the decompression syndrome. What lurked in the shadows of the Lower Congo was not merely a river, but an enigmatic realm teeming with unforeseen peril and primal forces, where the cycle of life and death danced in a macabre symphony of survival and sacrifice. While the mystery of the dying fish found its resolution, the Lower Congo River remains a realm of uncharted intrigue. Amid the depths of this treacherous domain, the relentless currents continue to guard the secrets of the Lower Congo a haunting reminder of the chilling mysteries that lie beneath the surface of our planet's most enigmatic and unforgiving landscape. Number 8. Minerals The Democratic Republic of Congo is renowned for its abundant mineral wealth, boasting a diverse array of valuable resources that have captured the attention of global industries and investors. It's often referred to as the world's storehouse of minerals. The Congo is home to an extensive range of precious metals, including copper, cobalt, diamonds, gold, and titanium, making it a crucial player in the global mineral market. With its vast reserves and strategic significance, the Congo has long been at the center of international attention and controversy, as the extraction and trade of its minerals have been linked to conflict, human rights abuses, and environmental degradation. Despite the potential for economic development, the exploitation of these resources has often come at a steep price, refueling regional conflicts and perpetuating social instability within the country. Moreover, the Congo's mineral wealth has not only garnered attention for its economic significance, but also for its enigmatic and, at times, sinister nature. In recent years, reports have emerged of clandestine mining operations and the illegal extraction of minerals, leading to the environmental degradation and the exploitation of vulnerable communities. The prevalence of conflict minerals has further underscored the complex and often disturbing realities surrounding the Congo's trade, highlighting the need for responsible and sustainable resource management. On top of all of this, the exploitation of minerals in the Congo has been associated with hazardous working conditions, child labor, and the violation of human rights, raising significant ethical concerns within the global supply chain. The prevalence of these unsettling practices has prompted increased scrutiny and calls for transparency and accountability in the mining industry, emphasizing the need for ethical sourcing and responsible mineral extraction practices. Moving on to number seven. Barolite. Once a small village on the edge of the Democratic Republic of the Congo that was barely even mentioned on most maps, Barolite was transformed into the extravagant seat of a dictator who changed the face of the country. But now the tiny town is a ruined complex of despotic extravagance gone to seed. When former journalist Mobutu Sese Seko took power in 1965 with the help of the CIA, he dug deep into the country's coffers to turn his ancestral village into a glimmering jewel where he could live and entertain like a king unrivaled. Before Mobutu's reign, Barolite was a simple small community of less than 2,000 people living in earthen huts, but the dictator constructed a trio of palaces nearby, a full-service airport, a hospital, a five-star hotel with over 100 rooms, and a land transportation infrastructure that could service the remote area. During Mobutu's reign, the lifestyle for the ruling powers in Barolite was lavish and extravagant, with fine wines, rare cuisine, and full-service entertainment that catered to the dictator and his guests, despite the poverty surrounding them and the corrupt source of the wealth. 
Mobutu's reign ended in a coup in 1997, and during the ensuing war, much of the extravagant flourishes that the ruler had put in were damaged or destroyed, and the shining seat of Mobutu's power slid into ruin. Today, Berolite is once again a remote village, although some of Mobutu's remaining supporters still tend to the remains of his crumbling palaces, conducting tours of the once gilded halls and making sure that the memory of the village's time in the sun doesn't completely fade. Number 6. Kasai Rex The origin story of the Kasai Rex is deeply rooted in the rich tapestry of Congolese folklore, intertwining with the heritage of local communities with the mystique of untamed wilderness. According to traditional accounts passed down through generations, the legend of the Kasai Rex emerged from the dense jungles that flank the Kasai River, where tales of a fearsome and elusive predator began to circulate among indigenous tribes. The earliest iterations of the Kasai Rex myth spoke of a colossal and relentless reptilian creature that roamed the waterways and impenetrable forests of the region, instilling a deep-rooted fear and reverence among those who dwelled in its domain. Stories of its thunderous roars reverberating through the night and its formidable presence casting a foreboding shadow over the landscape painted a vivid portrait of a primal force that defied human comprehension. As the legend took shape, the Kasai Rex became synonymous with the untamed and unyielding forces that governed the natural world, embodying primal ferocity and mystique of the Congo Basin's uncharted wilderness. Its name, derived from the Kasai River that meandered through the heart of the region, became enshrined in local myth as a symbol of awe and reverence, representing the delicate balance between humanity and nature. The tales of the Kasai Rex serve as a cautionary narrative, warning against the dangers of venturing too deep into the treacherous jungle. Its legend became intertwined with the cultural fabric of local communities, shaping their worldview and reinforcing their respect for the untamed landscape that surrounded them. Number 5. The Stone Circles of Senegambia the stone circles of Senegal and Gambia, though often overshadowed by global marvels like the Great Pyramids, possess a distinct allure that beckons to the intrepid explorer. Spanning a 100-kilometer stretch in Senegal and Gambia, this UNESCO World Heritage Site has an impressive collection of over a thousand stone circles, comprising over 28,000 monoliths, each standing at a commanding 2 meters and weighing a staggering 7 tons. Recent excavations uncovered evidence of mass burials, hinting at possible ancient epidemics or sacrificial rites that have added an air of drama to the region's narrative. Delving deeper, the stones themselves reveal a rich history that dates back to the 3rd century BC, a testament to the legacy of a tradition that persisted for nearly two millennia. Crafting these megaliths required intricate knowledge of geology to select the finest rocks and sculpt them into cylindrical or polygonal pillars a feat that demanded unparalleled craftsmanship. Transporting these monoliths to their current position required a collective effort of hundreds, reflecting the organizational prowess reminiscent of ancient civilizations. Nestled between the River Senegal and the River Gambia, these stone circles are not just isolated structures, they're interwoven with the land, surrounded by burial mounds and remnants of an ancient past. The Sine Nagayin complex, for example, stands encircled by weathered burial mounds, their origins blurred by the passage of time. Pottery shards discovered at Wanar reveal an intriguing narrative of their own, scattered around the stones and interred in layers of earth, unveiling glimpses of ceremonial practices that once animated these grounds. In the face of modern threats, though, both Gambia and Senegal have embarked on robust conservation efforts, deploying dedicated caretakers and enacting proactive laws to safeguard these precious relics of the past. Long-term preservation plans aim not only to conserve but also promote the region as a thriving tourist destination, empowering local communities and fostering economic growth. Embracing a holistic approach, these nations encourage further archaeological exploration and research, unraveling the layers of history embedded within the stones, and fostering a deeper understanding of their cultural significance for generations. Number 4. Giant Bugs The dense, steamy jungles of the Congo are a hotbed of biological marvels, housing an astonishing array of insect life that teems within its canopies and murky undergrowth. This realm harbors a plethora of creepy crawlies, from giant millipedes that slink through the underbrush to iridescent butterflies that dance on sunbeams, creating a tapestry of life that is as mesmerizing as it is unsettling. 
From colossal beetles that dwarf human hands to sinister-looking spiders lurking in the shadows, the insect of the Congo boasts an otherworldly presence that sets them apart from their counterparts across the globe. Among the most captivating of these creatures is the Megaloprepis caloratus, a giant blue butterfly with iridescent wings that span over 8 inches, making it one of the largest butterflies in the world. Its striking azure color coupled with its size transforms it into an ethereal apparition, flitting through the emerald canopy like a celestial messenger. Yet despite its mesmerizing beauty, the presence of such an imposing insect can instill a sense of awe tinged with a primal fear, as if the boundaries of the natural and supernatural blur. Contrasting the delicate elegance of the blue butterfly, the goliath beetle prowls the forest floor with robust frame and formidable horns, making it one of the largest beetles on the planet. With a size that can exceed four inches, this creature commands attention, evoking unease with its armored exoskeleton and menacing demeanor. Its ominous presence, coupled with its unsettling size, casts an imposing shadow over the landscape, leaving a mark on the minds of those who dare to venture in there. However, not all denizens of this realm are blessed with an enchanting allure. Sinister arachnids like the baboon spider, with their massive hairy body and imposing fangs, skulk through the underbrush, casting a web of fear over the unwary. Moreover, swarms of bloodthirsty mosquitoes and parasitic tsetse flies infest the air, their incessant buzzing serving as a haunting symphony that echoes through the jungle. Their tiny yet formidable presence pose a significant threat to all who dare to traverse the humid, mosquito-laden air, making the simple act of exploration a perilous dance with the forces of nature. Number 3. Mahamba The Mahamba, a cryptid of immense proportions, is a beast of local folklore. Its origins lie in the oral traditions of communities, where chilling tales of colossal aquatic serpents have been passed down through generations. While its existence remains shrouded in mystery, the legend of the Mahamba has left a mark on the cultural fabric of the region. Stories of the Mahamba describe a massive, snake-like beast rumored to measure up to 30 meters in length, with a sleek, scaly body that glides through the dark waters of the Congo River. Now, accounts of its appearance vary, with some claiming it possesses a horse-like head, while others describe it as having a more serpentine visage, complete with piercing red eyes that glow ominously in the depths. While skeptics dismiss the Mahamba as a mere legend, purported sightings over the years has perpetuated the mystery surrounding this creature. Reports from local fishermen and villagers speaking of terrifying encounters with the Mahamba, recounting how it's been known to capsize boats and drag unsuspecting victims into the water never to be seen again. These alleged encounters, often shared in hushed tones around flickering flames, have fueled the enduring fear and fascination surrounding this creature. Despite its prominence in local folklore, the Mahamba remains a cryptid, its existence unverified by scientific evidence. Researchers and cryptozoologists have embarked on expeditions to uncover the truth behind the legend, yet conclusive proof of the Mahamba's existence has remained elusive. The lack of tangible evidence, coupled with the absence of verifiable sightings, has led many to classify the Mahamba as a cryptid, a creature whose existence is based primarily on anecdotal testimonies and folklore, rather than empirical data. The origins of the Mahamba legend are believed to date back centuries, with early accounts intertwined with the tapestry of the Congolese mythology and oral traditions. Over time, the legend has evolved and adapted, with each retelling adding layers of complexity to the creature's fearsome reputation. Whether a mere product of myth and superstition, or a genuine denizen of the depths, the Mahamba continues to captivate the imaginations of those who dare to delve into the mysteries of the Congo's untamed waters. Number 2. Lesula Monkey The Lesula Monkey, an interesting little species of primate, emerged from the dense rainforests of the Democratic Republic of Congo, immediately captivating the attention of both researchers and the public. Its discovery in 2007 by a team led by biologist John Hart shed light on a previously unknown species that had long eluded scientific recognition, marking a significant milestone in the realm of primatology. Hart, a renowned primatologist, encountered the Lasula in the remote forests of the Lomami Basin, nestled deep within the heart of the Congo. The striking appearance immediately set it apart from other known monkey species, with its vibrant golden mane and soulful, expressive eyes that seem to reflect a profound intelligence. But also, more plainly put, it just looks so human. 
Its face, coupled with its elusive nature, sparked a surge of interest among researchers eager to unravel the mystery. The Lasula's natural habitat, dense vegetation, and lush canopies provided a sanctuary for this species, shielding it from the prying eyes of the outside world. Its discovery underscored the richness of the Congo Basin, highlighting the region's vital role in housing diverse and previously undocumented wildlife. In the wake of the Lasula's discovery, researchers embarked on a comprehensive study to understand its behavior, social dynamics, and ecological significance within its fragile ecosystem. Their efforts aimed to shed light on the Lasula's role in the intricate web of life that thrives within the Congo emphasizes the importance of conservation in safeguarding the primate's natural habitat. While the Lasula's discovery was met with fascination and intrigue, its existence also stirred concerns about the potential threats to its survival, including habitat loss and the encroachment of human activities in the Congo Basin. This delicate balance between human development and the protection of the Lasula's habitat became a pressing concern, prompting conservationists and policymakers to advocate for sustainable practices and responsible stewardship to ensure the species' long-term survival. Number 1. The Mokele Mbembe The Mokele Mbembe, a legendary cryptid of the Congo Basin, has captured imaginations of explorers and cryptozoologists for decades, sparking debate about its existence and origins. The creature, often described as a large reptilian beast akin to a sauropod dinosaur, has been the focus of numerous expeditions aimed at uncovering the truth behind this legend. The origins of the Mokele Mbembe legend can be traced back to the oral traditions of indigenous communities inhabiting this region of the Congo River Basin. Local folklore and accounts dating back centuries depict a massive, long-necked creature that roamed the dense, swampy marshlands, evoking a sense of awe and fear for those who have encountered it. While skeptics dismissed the Mokele Mbembe as a figment of myth and superstition, reported sightings and expeditions have fueled speculation about the possibility of its existence. Reports from early 20th century explorers such as Lt. Paul Gratz and German cryptozoologist Hermann Rugsters detailed encounters with a large, unidentified creature in the Congo's wilderness, further perpetuating the cryptid's mystique and notoriety. In the 1980s, renowned cryptozoologist Roy P. Mackel embarked on a groundbreaking expedition to the Congo, aiming to uncover evidence of the Mokele Mbembe's existence. Despite extensive investigations and eyewitness testimonies from local communities, tangible proof of the creature's presence remained elusive, leaving the community divided over its veracity and legitimacy. The Mokele Mbembe's classification as a cryptid, a creature whose existence is based on anecdotal accounts and folklore rather than concrete scientific evidence, has spurred ongoing debates among researchers. Skeptics attribute reported sightings to misidentifications of known animals or the embellishment of local myths highlighting the lack of tangible evidence as a crucial factor in debunking the legend. However, proponents of the Mokele Mbembe's existence point to the rich biodiversity and unexplored terrain of the Congo Basin as plausible factors that could conceal the creature from human scrutiny. The region's dense jungles and waterways provide ample cover for a creature evading human detection, adding credence to the possibility of its survival in one of the world's most impenetrable, therefore mostly undiscovered, ecosystems. I'll see you guys next time. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos. Thank you to our channel members.